viewers this morning i want to share with you about our fellowship with god you know jesus christ came to restore the fellowship that was broken between god and man he came because we once had a fellowship a relationship with God but when man sinned that relationship was broken therefore man could no longer contact God as he was supposed to be now Jesus Christ came to restore that relationship and he gave us his spirit which makes us sons of God so now we have a father and we are his sons. So what's, what is the relationship between the father and the son? Or his daughter? Many people today call themselves children of God. But yet, they are not in the relationship with their father. Hmm. Can you have a child and not have a relationship with the child? No! Many people today call themselves children of God. I am a child of God. Yes, they do not know their father. When you are a child of someone, you are supposed to know who your father is. Many people today all they know about God is what they hear from other people, but they have not experienced a personal relationship with God themselves. So I'm here just to let you know that our relationship or our fellowship with God is threefold. Fellowship with the body, fellowship with the soul, and fellowship with the spirit. Take note of that. God wants to connect with us, with our body, with our soul, and with our spirit. Remember, our body is the temple of God. Our body is where the Holy Spirit dwells. God wants to connect with our soul. Because remember, whatever you have in your thoughts, you will do in action. God is calling us to be holy as he is holy. That is, if your thoughts are filled with unholy thoughts, you can never be holy. And if you are not holy, then you cannot be with God. You cannot fellowship with him. God wants to connect with our spirits. Hmm. When man sinned, we died spiritually. Jesus Christ came to give us eternal life. God wants to connect with our spirits because he wants to fellowship with us eternally. That was why he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross of Calvary. That whosoever believes in him will not perish, but we fellowship with him eternally in the spirit. How do we fellowship with God with our body? The Bible says our body is a temple of God. Therefore, we should reserve our body for everything that is honorable. Let us go to the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 2. Take a reading from verse 20, verse 20 to 20, 22. Now, as I said, we need to reserve our body for everything that is what? Honorable before God. Because if you use your body 
this same body that we call the temple of God to do things which are contrary to the word of God, it will grieve the Holy Spirit. How can we use this body where the Holy Spirit dwells to do things which are evil and expect God to continue to dwell within us? God does not like that which is unholy. 2 Timothy 2 verse 20 it says, Now, in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honorable use, some for dishonorable. Therefore, if anyone cleans himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. 22. So, flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. It's to that. I have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant controversies. You know that the breed quarrels. That is 24. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach patiently, enduring evil. 25. Correcting his opponent with gentleness, God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading to the knowledge of the truth. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. We see here that there are two kinds of vessels, some for honorable use and, for, and others for dishonorable use. If you want to be a vessel for honorable use, then reserve your body for God and that which is holy. If you want God to use you, if you want to contact God, if you want to speak with God, if you want to be in a relationship, you know, relationship is two-way. You cannot be in a, in a talking to someone, only you doing all the efforts, and then say, ah, ah, this person, you are together. No. It takes two people to tango. The Bible says what? Flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness. Fellowship with the body. Our body is temple of God, so let us flee all things that are, that are unholy before God and act on those things which are of righteousness. Fellowship with our soul. Let us go to Colossians. Colossians chapter 3. Verse 1 to 4. We will we'll go on to verse 5. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. How do we seek the things that are above? That is by keeping our thoughts on God, by meditating on His word day and night. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Verse 5. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. You see? The body and the mind must go together. What you have in your mind... We happen to your body in, in time. What you plant in your mind, you will reap in action. Set your mind on things that are above where Christ Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. For you to have a fellowship with God, you need to set your mind on Him. You need to have your look fixed on Christ Jesus. But many people today, their minds are on the things of this world. Things that give them pleasures. And if you look at those things, they are things that, that, that destroy your soul. Fellowship with the soul. Fellowship with the spirit. 
Our spirit is the communication point between us and God. If our spirit is not filled with God's spirit, is not in tune with God's spirit, we cannot contact God. What do I mean by this? We need a free spirit to contact God. When our spirit is filled with offense, jealousy, grudges, or, the, or when our spirit desires the things of this world, we cannot contact God. The Holy Spirit cannot speak to us. Remember, the Holy Spirit uses the word of God in us to communicate to us God's will. That is, if your spirit is void of the word of God, the Holy Spirit will not be able to communicate with you. What do I mean by that? In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Apostle Paul says, do not, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. First, you need to have the word in your spirit. Then the Holy Spirit comes in and uses that word first, starting from your spirit. He uses the word, it comes into your spirit, he uses that word to go and renew your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When we have the word of God in us, the Holy Spirit, it it, it becomes a tool in the hand of the Holy Spirit to nurture us, to transform us. Now, us being filled with God's word allows the Holy Spirit to work in us. When he works in us, our mind is transformed. When our mind is transformed, that is all our thoughts, Will be governed by the word of God. When our web, when our thoughts are governed by the word of God, we are going to give birth to actions which are holy. May the Lord bless His word in your heart today, in Jesus' name. Without the Holy Spirit.